Hi, welcome to Sacred Enzyme. I'm Stacy, and today I'm sharing some of my personal stories about supernatural things that have happened to me and, and uh, contact that I've had from spirit. And I want to tell you a story about a lady that I worked with for many, many years, and she was an incredible lady. She was born on Christmas Day, and her name was Mary. And uh, Mary and I had worked together for a long time. She, matter of fact, she was one that trained me, and uh, she had an intuition. She she would she would know if anybody was was going to do something that was not on the up and up. She would know. She had a nose about her, and she taught me that instinct. She taught me to tap into that instinct. But um, she passed away from colon cancer, and we went to her funeral. And uh, I was close to her, but, you know, she, there were a lot of more people in her life that were probably closer to her. You know, uh, she had two beautiful children that were grown, and... Uh, and she was, she had a lot of friends. Everybody loved her. I mean, she was an incredible soul. And she came to me one night, and uh, it was interesting because um, when she showed up, I was surprised to see her. I was surprised because I had no idea that she would come and see me. I, I had no idea that she would. I felt honored, honestly. I never thought that she'd come and see me. I thought that she could find a million other people <laughs> that she'd want to see more than me. But, you know, I was completely honored and uh, humbled that she would come to see me. It was wonderful. So, um, when she showed up, she was with a, another person. And and this person was a man. And he was a small man. And, and he was quiet. He had glasses on. And if I could describe his appearance, I would say that he kind of looked like Paul Simon, the singer Paul Simon. And uh, he stood to the side. And, and he never spoke the whole time. And she and I had a conversation and, you know, I was just like, I was first, I was just shocked, you know, I said, oh my gosh, I'm so surprised. How are you doing? You know, I was just surprised to see her. And uh, she said, oh, I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. And, I, you know, and we just had small talk and I don't know why I just didn't think to ask her something profound, you know, I guess I was just so shocked that she came to see me to start with. And uh, she was holding a clipboard and I said, what have you been doing? You know, what have you been doing? And she said, well, I got to say, I'm still on the job. I'm still on the job. And I was like, wow, that's incredible. But I never asked her what the job was. I was just surprised that she was still on the job. So it just goes to show you that when you pass away and you cross over into spirit, the things don't stop, that you're still doing good works. You know, she was still on the job. She had, a, you know, she was working with a guide or she was working with an angel or she was becoming an angel. I'm not sure exactly what her role was going to be, but she was still on the job. And she is still doing good works on the other side. And so that's one time that I had a visit from one of my co-workers that I loved and adored. And, and she affirmed to me, you know, little glimpses into the, into the, other, the other realms is that we're always working and we're doing good deeds when we cross over. That it just doesn't end with our physical body. So with that little short story, I thank you for uh, spending some time with me today and Sacred Enzyme. And uh, when you come and find me, I'll be here. We're living the past, present, the future, all at the same time. Thanks for watching Sacred Enzyme.